Yes, sir. What is going on, fellas? Marcells, what's good, man? What's good with you boys? Happy A&M Saturday, man. Let me know. Is everything good? Does everything sound good? NC State fan, what's good, bro? Eagle Six Pack, what's poppin'? Nathan, what's good, my dude? Y'all let me know. Everything sound good? We good? We straight? Y'all see everything? You asked for NCAA football 14 for Christmas? Bro, that's dope, man. I did this thing at the wrong time, fellas. <laughs> if y'all see me looking off on the side, I'm watching Ohio State take on Michigan State right now. So that's up on the screen. I'm going to be talking to you guys. So if I'm quiet for a hot second, that means I'm watch like something happened out the corner of my eye. Touchdown Bears. What's good, fam? Shout out to Azzy in the building. Go Georgia Southern. Nah, we're good. Audio just cut out. Did the audio just cut out for real? Can you guys hear me? Hello. Hello. No audio. audio touchdown bears how do i become verified on your discord big c my brother is a fan yo can you guys can everybody else hear me nc said i think you need some new headphones my guy <laughs> Oh, man. What's going on, man? Give it a few more minutes. Let some more people get in. They're just trolling. And I fall for it every time. I fall for it every time. LT Ranger, what's good, man? Random American, what's popping? Blake, I see you. Nathan, Shad, uh, Price. I see you guys, man. Appreciate you boys being here this morning or this afternoon, wherever you're at. It's 10 o'clock here on the West Coast. Oh, Trace. Okay, finally, Trace Sermon doing something. Let's go. That's what I like to see. Gamecock, man, everything's good, bro. California kid was popping, man. Long time, my man. Uh, this is our year. Arkansas and Arkansas State have no chance. Let's hype it up in the locker room. Facts, man. We beat both of them this year. God, man, what's popping, bro? Hoodie, man. I, I, man, listen. I should have been smarter. I should have looked at the schedule. <laughs> this year we need a playoff berth, man. I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, man, uh, even if we go undefeated, even if we win the Sun Belt again, I think just because we play in the Sun Belt Conference, like the BCS stuff, we, we won't be able to get a BCS bid like that. Can I play UFC? Can you play? Uh, I don't have UFC. Are you talking about UCF, maybe? We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at the schedule, man. I honestly think, man, this team could go undefeated this year, fellas. I honestly think that. And that would be amazing considering where we came from. 
considering how we started this dynasty to, you know, what was it, 10, 11 wins? It's crazy. Sunbelt's going to handicap you to, like, the 10 spot. Facts. Facts. Um, That's what I'm saying. I think if we if we go ahead and win out, go undefeated, we're going to have to go to a new uh, conference the beginning of next season. I like the idea of going independent, bro. But at the same time, I want to win conference titles. I want to play in conference championships. Uh, somebody su- suggested the Big 12, and that would actually be a dope idea because I think that would uh, make it a 10-team league. Uh, LT Ranger, you, yo, Big C, you're my new place for sports video game content. Keep up the great, the good work. Found you by the Gremlin Dynasty. Bro, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. That Gremlin Dynasty is what put me on the map, real talk. Uh, Nathan, me, when are we going to be ranked? Big C, not in a long time. Me now. <laughs> I didn't see, like, I didn't see it coming. Not in season three, bro. Why is NCAA football 14 so good? Uh, here, So here's my take on why this game is where it's at. Like, why people love this game so much. It's because we don't have a new game. If there was a NCAA 15, 16, 17 up to now this game wouldn't be that good but at the same time ea would have found a way to mess this mess it up so yeah facts tanner i agree with you man that's why this offseason is so important man we have a we have one game changer on the defensive line and another one that we could potentially get uh, by the end of today. And and if we get them, man, I think our defensive line will be so much better. (laughs) Uh, Here goes the swag trash talk. (laughs) Pac-12 would be fun because Oregon Cal. Yeah, but you don't ever have a down South team go play in the Pac-12 though. Realistically, it would be Big 12, SEC, or ACC. Yeah, if if this was if this game was on X or PS4 or Xbox One, it would have been amazing. It's 107 in Michigan, man. Shout out to Michigan. I actually, uh, oh, come on, Justin, stay up. I actually work part time in Michigan, man. I have a, uh, I have a radio show that's in Niles, Michigan, um, and I should be on air in about an hour. Maybe add Army Navy to the Sun Belt. SEC is the best conference in the country, and it's not even close. Uh, yeah, this year I'll give you that. So we got 32 people in here with 20 likes. Let's go ahead and bump that up, man. Let's get that to 30 likes. You went to bed at 4 a.m.? I went to bed. It was like 2-something when I went to bed this morning. And then I got up at 7.30 and went for a walk. Uh, I think that's going to be my new routine, man. Get up in the morning and go for a walk. It was nice out this morning. We'll give it two more minutes, and then we'll hop in, guys. I don't think everybody's awake yet. There you go, Justin. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Game Duck, happy birthday to you, my friend. Everybody show Game Duck some love in the chat. Can we check on FAU? Want to see how my boy's doing? Yeah, uh, I'll do that in a little bit. I mi- I feel like I missed something. Uh I play it nonstop and rebuild so many teams. Yeah, Ranger, I'm looking to get a PS5, man, but they're nowhere to be found right now. Um, I, I pro- I'm going to be honest with you. I probably have to wait till the beginning of the year uh, once they kind of restock in stores and stuff. You should go to the FCS. Come on, man. 
Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Dang, somebody disliked it already? Yo, whoever disliked it, man, y'all trolling so bad. Yo, Big C, you think Chicago Bears are going to fire Matt Nagy after? No, I don't think so. I think they'll give him one more year. I'm a D3 college football player, and college is fun, but I wish they included D3 schools in a video game. Facts, man. Facts, Tanner. I wish, man. I Like, that'd be dope. I, I think if they come out with the new game in a couple years, uh, I think they're going to have to include all that. They're gonna have to include D two, D three. That way, the transfer portal looks bit looks better. Uh, any new games you're looking to try? I want to try that. What is it? Cyberpunk. I want to try that one. I want to try Spider Man. Uh, who the heck disliked this epic stream? <laughs> it's all right, fellas. I, I've I've come to grasp that you know some people are just not gonna like everything. And it's all good. As long as the loyal watchers are showing love, man, that's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me. All right, man, let's get started. Shout out to everybody that's in the building. Uh, you know, we're in se- we're going into season four already, fellas. Uh, we're coming off an incredible year for our Bears. Uh, man, shout out to the GOAT. Happy birthday, my guy. Uh, and look at this. Coach Randy Thomas gets a contract extension, bro. We don't have to worry about getting fired, man. 11-2 and two last season, and he gets a four-year extension. Uh, I can't wait to change that top 25 uh, record, man. We're 0-2 versus the top 25. 15-10. It's actually worse than that because we went 0-12. Uh, so what is that? We are 15-22. and 22. Am I right? Is my math right? 20, 22? Yep. 15 and 22. So, uh, you know, he did a great job. The team did an amazing job this season. Uh, so, four years, we'll, gr- we'll gladly accept that, man. They need to fire Nagy. College football most likely return, be in 2022-23. Since next year, they are making it where college players can get paid. Facts. Man, I'm mad. I moved, and I still love the Jags, and they're not doing good. Uh, my favorite things to watch, Arkansas A&M and Ohio State. Nathan, you are my guy. You are my guy. And we're up. I think it's 21 nothing right now. All right, man, coaching carousel. We have nothing to worry about. Uh, coach just re-upped. So uh, let's advance on to players leaving. We got two seniors that are leaving this year. Uh, both of them were JUCOs, junior or JUCO players. So, uh, hopefully, nobody's looking to transfer. Yeah, that program prestige was an A plus. I don't know how we got it up that high, <laughs> but I'm happy with it. We'll take it. Yeah, man. Hey, everybody in the chat, everybody that's watching, everybody that shows love to the series, you are all my fam. Real talk. Real talk. Everybody that subscribes, everybody that thumbs up, that follows your boy on Twitter, every man, you guys are all fam. Because you take time out of your day to come and watch a video that I create, which is amazing to me. Nathan, what's good, man? Oh, we got a new offensive coordinator, y'all. We got a new offensive coordinator. And he's pretty good. We'll take it. Let's see. So, Edenfield left for a new job. And we bring in Hammock. Okay. We got to see where he came from. Hammock. Edenfield. All right. Let's see where Edenfield went first. Hey, let's go. Oh, shoot. I thought it went by last names. <laughs> uh, what's his name? 
K. Edenfield, Tom, and Thomas Hammock. All right. Freaking Addison Ray is like, OMG, I'm so famous. Screw that. We got Big C. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh, wow. Wow. So our OC went and took the head coach job at BYU. Wow. Okay. Congrats to him, man. Xavier, what's good, man? Uh, Hammock was the head coach at Northern Illinois. Is that right? He was fired from Missouri. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, listen, a head coach coming in to be an offensive coordinator, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Let's see what he brings to the table, though. All right. So, offensive coordinator, 15. I like it, man. Let's bump up this up-tempo. Uh, definitely this, definitely that, um, I'm gonna put two here and two there. <laughs> you love my room. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Uh, listen, <laughs> um, we live in an apartment as of right now, so uh, this is the only place where I can put my setup and then not echo and bother everything else in the uh, in the house. I could have put it in the dining room, but, you know, I'm married, so the wife wasn't going to let that happen. All right, fellas, time to get to players leaving. Let's just hope nobody's transferring, man. That's not – oh, McIntosh is leaving. That's That's okay. That's okay. First season had your heart broken. Mine too. I've never, never lost every game that I've played. Who's my favorite NFL player? Um, favorite NFL player, probably Khalil Mack. Biggest need is in secondary in my book since you was like worst D in the league. Also, better tacklers would be nice. Mad wife, mad house. Facts. Happy wife, happy life. Um, so we're losing two freshmen. McIntosh was a, uh, a special team standout, man. He did a great job, like on kickoffs for us. This guy wasn't going to see the field. I I don't think his stats were that great, to be honest with you. I think he was one of those guys that just got added to the team. Yeah. 86 speed. He got 90 spec catch though. And McIntosh is going to Nevada to Reno. See 15 tackles. He did have a pass breakup, one TFL. That's not bad. We're losing David Hunt, though. He's headed to the draft. Had him on campus for two years, nine total sacks, uh, 40 tackles in his two seasons here. Uh, like I said in the, uh, season re- the season recap, he set the tone for this defensive line, man. Uh you know, he was the first big name that we brought on campus in recruiting. And uh, I think he opens the door for the two new guys to come in and, you know, carry that torch. Seth Williams, we're losing him. He had three sacks in his career here, two seasons. He had a scoop and score touchdown. Uh, another big guy. I think he can get, get drafted. He might go undrafted, 71 overall. Uh, these two guys will be in the – uh, Madden franchise, though, for sure. Ginger, what's good, man? No. He's all right. He's up and moving. He's up and moving. 
he be out for one play. Don't don't scare me like that, Nathan. Don't scare me like that. Your favorite player is Tyreek Hill. I can see that. My boy CJ Stroud. All right. So that's who's leaving. Let's look and see. Let's look around. See who else is getting up out of here. So this is probably where you're going to see like a bunch of um, like real life players leaving. Uh, so we're we're getting into the to the time frame where it's like all the computer generated guys should be uh, taken over. Uh, Zamir White. Only there was only one, two, three, four, five, six, ninety nine overalls that are graduating. That's crazy. That's crazy. Matt Carell is gone. Don't know who that is. Spencer Rattler is graduating. They're saying he's going to go undrafted. Undrafted for Spencer Rattler, huh? Okay. There's your boy. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name from Clemson. He declared early. KJ Jefferson from Arkansas is gone. Good. Um. Okay. Isaiah Spiller, Master Teague, Jordan Wilmore. Uh, a lot of these guys, man, like I said, they're, these guys probably, like the real life guys, I probably won't put into um, Madden just because I don't like doing that. Um but like going forward, though, now that these are going to be more computer generated guys, I feel like I could put those guys in. Michael Pittman. That's Michael Pittman's little brother. Joseph Nagata. Blue Smith, former Buckeye. Going second round. OK. Trey Knox. That guy killed us. Are you going to be uh, do a live stream for the Carolina Panthers franchise? Uh, I, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I feel like I like maybe next season for the uh, off season we can do something with like a live stream. I just got more people got to be interested in it, man. Uh, a lot of a lot of guys are more interested in this friend in this dynasty than they are the um, the Panthers. So uh, I don't know. Who's your favorite Ohio State player from the 2000s? Oh, probably uh, Zeke. Um, let's see, who else? Um, Chase Young. I was a big Chase Young guy. God, that's tough, man. That's tough. Ohio State is a bust you for QBs. Um, I don't know if that's true. Yo, LT, I appreciate that, man. I don't know if that's true. I think that, uh, you know, with our quarterbacks, you got to have the right system around them. For for example, I think if you – if uh, yeah, Braxton Miller is another great one, man. Braxton Miller, but he had to go be a wide receiver. Um I don't know. I think I think Justin's going to change that. I think Justin will change that this year. All right, man. So we got some good players leaving. But now comes the fun. Transfer request. Trust I would watch that. Well, I already watched all your videos. So, I mean, of course, I would watch. Ginger, I appreciate that, man. USC is the number one for QB bust. Shout out to Sam Darnold. <laughs> now, I think Ohio State, man, I think with our quarterbacks, we have a specific type of quarterback, especially under Urban Meyer. We had a specific type of quarterback. So it wasn't really uh, – it really wasn't 
NFL caliber, I guess is the word. Uh, Because, like, Troy Smith, and you had Braxton, and then you had Cardale. um, I'm missing somebody in between there. JT. um, You know, JT doesn't have the best arm, but he's a winner. He knows how to win. Dwayne Haskins had the best arm, but he was young. He wasn't experienced. He only played one full season. Um, Justin comes in, uh, and he comes, and he brings in a lot more experience. He can throw. He can run. He's going to be the best quarterback to come out of Ohio State in a very long time. Terrell Pryor. Same with Terrell Pryor. Great athlete, but the arm wasn't there. Saquon or Derrick Henry? Uh, Probably Derrick Henry. All right, draft results. Again, we're probably not going to get anybody drafted. I figured that was going to happen. Uh, let's see what Arkansas did. They sent one, two, three, four guys to the pros. Trey Knox is a third rounder. KJ Jefferson, sixth round. Ladarius Bishop is a sixth rounder. And their kicker gets drafted. Interesting. Uh, A State, nobody. Auburn, three guys. Um, oh, let's look at Bama. Because everybody loves Bama. Jeez. Two first rounders, two second rounders, two third, three thirds, three fourths of five, two sixths, and two sevens. Dang, their kicker went in the fourth round. <laughs> uh, Clemson. FAU. Okay, I'll look at that. Oh my God, Clemson. <clears throat> Eight, four, five first rounders. Sheesh. Uh, you said FAU. One, your fullback. Your fullback. Uh, Florida State, they sent three. Georgia, four first rounders. They're running back. John Fitzpatrick. Um, let's see who who else? LSU. Two first rounders, both of them running backs. Hey, Big C, when's the regular season coming back? To, uh, either Tuesday or Thursday. Do you guys want to see, like, a spring game? If you don't want to see a, a spring game, I can just go straight into the season. Uh, if you want to see a spring game, it'll be Tuesday, and then uh, Thursday would be regular season. The U only sent four players to the draft, or four players got drafted. Team Up North had a good draft. Uh, I think Justin Field NFL team will be Carolina, the Jets, the Jaguars, or the Giants. Hey, twenty eight nothing. Let's go. Uh, hopefully Justin doesn't declare this year. Hopefully he doesn't. I would love to have him back for one more year. If we don't win a national championship this year, I want him back for one more year. I see you saying Gamecocks. I got you. No spring game. Let's see what Notre Dame did. I got you. I got you, Gamecock fan. Notre Dame sent their three first rounders, two. Let's see what the Buckeyes did. Bunch of second rounders. What? Nobody in the first round? Y'all bugging. You're bugging. This dude's having a bad game today. Harry Miller, he is having a terrible game today. Um... Anybody else worth looking at? South Carolina. Here you go. Two guys. Two guys. You want to look at Penn State? All right. Penn State had one first rounder, two second rounders, and two fourth rounders. 
Yes, spring game, big last season for all the guys we started with. I want my Bears to draft Trevor Lawrence or Zach Wilson from BYU. Uh, the Bears, I, I would love for the Bears to draft a quarterback in this draft. I wouldn't be mad at Trey Lance. Yes, on the spring game, only if there are possible position controversies. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll do a spring game, man. I have fun playing that. Um, and that helps kind of set up the season with backstories and stuff. So, uh, the spring game will be on Tuesday. And then the season starts on Thursday. Texas, good draft for them. Okay. I can't wait till we get to the point where we have a bunch of players like that going to the league. All right, let's hop in. Transfer request. Last year we had a DB. Let's see what we get this year, if anything. Nothing this year. Okay. Okay. I think it's because we got a full roster. Um, that's interesting, man. Very, very interesting. All right. Here comes the fun, fellas. Time to get ready for recruiting, man. Shout out to the 53 people in the chat. Appreciate y'all rocking with me this morning, man. It means a lot to your boy. Pull it up on my phone. See how many likes we got. 50 likes, man. That is what's up. I appreciate y'all, man. Didn't we already get the transfer DB from Maryland? Yeah, we just got him. Uh, and we get to look and see where he could, where he's going to be best fit. All right, this is going to be a tough one, man. We've got three guys on our board right now that could legit get playing time uh, in their freshman season. Yep, I've scouted an 80 overall. I mean, look, Corey Mark, four-star defensive end. He's an 80 overall. I think we're going to move him to D-tackle. I really do think that. And then Kyle Butler, a three-star man. This guy, I think this guy is going to be uh, – I think he's going to be a star. I really think he's going to be a star. I'm going to make sure we swag him out too, bro. We are going to swag him all the way out. But we've got three guys here. Do I watch the NBA? Yes, big NBA fan. Anybody know any good O-lineman in the draft class? Uh, the right guard for Ohio State. Yeah. All right, so we got three guys on our board. Corey Mark, the big defensive end from Oklahoma. Um, but I think we're going to kick him. If if we get him, uh, we're going to kick him inside. We're going to kick him inside and have him play D tackle. He's going to be a three technique. With his size, I think 6'5", 247, we get him in, we bulk him up a little bit. Uh, he could be a great three technique for us. No, Butler's not a Juco. He is a true freshman, yo. True freshman. So is Corey Mark. And then we've got Sean Brown, the free safety from Arkansas, man. Four-star prospect, six foot 184, the number six free safety in this class. And, again, this dude's a stud. 90 speed, 82 tackle, 77 zone, 75 press. I think these are the two that we have to get. I think that's the that's the go-to. Corey Jean is a solid player, but I think it's just making up too much ground. You know what I mean? Like, we've got – he's a good player. He's a solid traits, 81 power move, 78 finesse, 78 block shed. But would we rather have him or Corey Mark play D-tackle? I think we got to go with Mark and Brown. If we land these two, we go up into it. Like, it's a top 30 recruiting class off jump, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? Who who should we go after? I'm saying Mark and Brown. Oh, Lombardi's hurt. Uh, if we move Mark inside, we don't need Corey Jean. Facts. 
Marshall, Georgia, Bama, Oklahoma, and Texas have O-linemen who can play in the pros? I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. Is Mark and Brown the way to go? Mark and Brown. That's what I thought. Okay. So this is what we'll do. Let's go. I'm gonna put eight thousand on Mark. Yeah, our secondary is going to be deep this year, and I'm 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 happy for that. I want that. Like I love having options at in the secondary. So I'm gonna put eighty five hundred on Mark. And what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Eighty five hundred on Mark. 6,500 on Sean Brown. You think 10,000 on Mark? <clears throat> Yo, Xavier, stop spamming that, man. We read that already. Jav, what's good, bro? Oh, Garrett Wilson. 10K on Mark. But I feel like if we put 10K on Mark, we're taken away from Brown. And risk losing Brown? I don't know if we can. Like, hold on. Let's look and see. Hold on. So, at free safety, right, we've got Ken Anderson. And he's solid. He's a great tackler. But his coverage skills are trash. His coverage skills are trash. Um, and we really don't have another option at that position. Kraft might be able to play. He might be able to play free safety, but he's coming in as a junior. And uh, his hit power is nice. Exactly. We need, <laughs> we need Brown. Now nah, I've never played ro Retro Bowl, man. I play um, Among Us on my phone. That's the only game I play on my phone. Enormous, you haven't missed much, man. We're in the recruiting stage right now. Um, we had two freshmen transfer out. Uh, John McIntosh, a free safety we picked up last year, and a wide receiver. Uh, I forgot his name. He wasn't going to play anyway. Um, coach got an extension, another four years. No transfer request. Um, and now we're here. So Corey Mark, Sean Brown, do nine K on Brown. I think I think we're good right here. If anything, no, nah, I can't do that. I want to make sure we get both of these guys. That's what we're gonna go with. Austin was good, man. The D-line is going to be nice, man, especially with Kyle Butler coming in. And if we can grab Corey Mark, we're going to be str we're going to be straight. Can you do an RTG maybe? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, man, I've got a whole family of YouTubers, bro. A whole family. We do a family. In case y'all didn't know, man, we do a family vlog channel as well. It's called The Mac Pack. You guys should check it out. We're doing Vlogmas right now, so uh, it's an upload every day over there. All right, man, we're going with it. Let's get it. Whew, I'm so nervous, bro. I'm so nervous. Right, let's go. Let's get both of these guys, man. 
Let's start season four off right with two stars. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, David Hunt would have ate. Like, he would have been so hyped on this line, man. He would have been so hyped on this line. All right, here we go. I'm not going to look. I'm going to look at chat. If you win by 10 points a game, you're going to have a God squad. Jav, I've been good, fam. Just grinding, man. Just grinding, bro. I got daily uploads over here on this channel, daily uploads on the vlog channel. Uh, I got a reaction video that just dropped, I believe. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like it. I like it. We signed a top 10 prospect. And two gems, man, and stole two prospects. I love it. We need to get hyped in the chat right now, man. Oh, we won by a lot. We won by a lot for Corey Mark. Okay. We finna be nice on defense this year. I feel like if one of these off seasons Michigan beats out Big C for a player, he gonna chuck facts. <laughs> oh man, we won by a lot. We could have put some points in. I could have put three thousand. I could afford to put three thousand on there. But you know what, man? I'm happy. We got these two guys. These are the two guys we really wanted to get. I'm I'm hype, man. I'm hype. Our defense is gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Let's look at the classes where we where we finished up at. Top forty. I'm happy with that. A top forty recruiting class. I'm happy with that. Let's go, man. How did Lafayette really? They got three four stars. Oh my god. A tackle, a running back, and a DN. We were ahead of them for most of the season. Do I watch Friday Night Tikes? No. Uh what franchise are you going next gen? Uh I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Um we still got a couple more seasons to go for the Panthers, bro. Uh, I know we should like now that I'm look now I'm thinking about it, we should have gave the, that D tackle some points, bro. It's all good though. Who had the number one class? Arkansas had a 16th ranked class. Number one class, the Fighting Irish. Woo! Three five stars, four four stars, three twelve or twelve three stars. Jeez. Ohio State was 31. I saw that. That's crazy. When do you think we'll get a five-star recruit? Uh, I don't want five stars yet, man. Let me be honest with you. I like getting, like, the three stars and the four stars and building that way. We'll try to get a five-star in, like, either next season, not next season, in two seasons. Broncos next. That wouldn't, that's not a bad idea. But I'm hyped, though, man. This recruiting class is going to be nice. We're going to be nice. We got both the players we really wanted, both the players we really needed. You have a franchise with the Cincinnati Bengals. That's good, man. How many gems did you get? Uh, Three or four? I think it was three or four. I know the two guys that uh, – Jacob, I appreciate that, man. I know the two guys we just signed uh, were gems. Butler was a gem, and I think we have one more too. All right, position changes. Look at the Corey Mark. Come on, man. Let's see. Let's see. He's going to be – we were talking about moving him inside to play D-tackle. 
he goes up to an 82 overall if we move him inside. We got to do it, right? Man, these four stars, we got to get, we are. Hey, shout out to uh, DeMichael Mingo for the subscription, man. I appreciate that, bro. Welcome to the fam. Have I been missing those? Did anybody else subscribe? Yeah, I did. Beasley TV, appreciate you. Uh, we're on the road to 5,000, man. 5K is right around the corner. Xavier, yeah, man. We do have a whole family of YouTubers over there, over here. Can you stop spamming that in the chat for me? Appreciate it. All right, we're going to move him to D-tackle, bro. He goes up to an 82 overall. Let's just go position by position. Ruben Taylor's out of here, man. He's already said he's going to transfer out. Uh, so, look at this, man. We're going to have three quarterbacks again. We got our running backs. I don't know who this is. This guy's new. We did not recruit a running back. I'm moving to fullback because we need one. Wide receiver. All these, like, all these guys are getting redshirted, bro. These four guys will be redshirted, and they'll be back next season and be starters pretty much. Um, bro, we're kill like, like the numbers that you guys are giving this series, man, are insane, and I appreciate you guys so much, man. Where are we sitting at right now? 4,730. I'm trying – like, the goal is to hit 5,000 subscribers either by Christmas Day or by New Year's Eve, man. That's the goal. I want to go into 2021 with 5K, and I know we can do it. We got, some, we got some studs on the offensive line, man. We got some studs on the offensive line. I can't wait. This, like, when they, get, when they level up, we're going to be nice. We're going to be nice. Yeah, buddy. How do you join a new conference? I'll show you here in a second. Woods to left guard or right guard? No, nah, I – so here's the thing. I like Kirby at left guard, and I really like Carrington at right guard. Uh, Wood – these two are going to have a position battle again this year. Walton did a solid job. Uh, he gave up two sacks. But I like Andrew Woods' size, man. He But, again, he gave up. He only gave up one sack last year. His freshman year, he gave up four. Um, so these two will probably battle it out in the spring. Um, I'm going to give them both playing time in the spring and see what happens. Smith to center? Nah, Valentine, Valentine is the best center on the board. We definitely need to get a backup center, though. Like, I'll probably put... Yeah, let's see. Uh, Matt Meyer at center. Yeah, Matt Meyer can go to center. Because this guy, listen, anytime this guy was in the game, trash. Trash. I'm talking about, like, he couldn't block anybody, bro. Yeah, both freshmen will get redshirted. Um, and then we will... Uh, we'll be straight. Vince Smith did a great job at right tackle, man. All right, defense. Fellas, we got some players on defense, man. The defensive line is going to be nice. We picked this guy up. Great speed off that edge, 78 speed. Charles Parks is back. Eric Carter we just brought in. And then the, the Beast. The Beast. That's what his nickname is going to be, The Beast. And then we got Bo Reynolds. I want to kick Bo Reynolds inside. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll put Eric Carter. No, hold on. Um, put Mullins over there. Yeah. Yep, just like that. That's my word, man. That's my word. Nice. 
be waiting for him to f hit 5K to stay here before 5K. <laughs> we going to hit 5K by Christmas, man. I can feel it. I can feel it. All right, so defensive ends, I think we're we're going to be straight. These two, I, I mean, I have packages. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to have the Rushman package. We'll have a run defense package. We just got so much better on this defensive line, though. So much better. I like Steven Wilson. This kid right here, I like him a lot. I like him a lot. I think Corey Marks starts. I think Corey Marks starts. And I think these three are, like, rotated in and out. Maybe even these four, because Rashad Young is nice, too. I think these four can get rotated in and out. Linebackers, Tyson Kidd, he's back for his junior year. Yeah, that look at this. This freshman is better than Rob. But Rob is a first teamer, bro. Rob is a first teamer. Red shirt Corey Mark. What? Nah. Corey Mark starts day one, bro. Corey Mark starts day one. You can't red shirt somebody that's an eighty overall. You can't. James Ryan, he's gonna be back for his junior year. It's only because, the only reason he has low awareness is because we just moved him. That's the only reason why. I feel like if we redshirt him, he transfers next year. Have I ever think about 3-4? Uh, I thought about playing the 3-4, man. I, I played it with the Grambling Dynasty. I don't think I have the linebackers for it right now. Um, but... You know, it's an option. It's an option for next season, maybe. Uh, corner, we're going to be deep at corner. Uh, Chauncey Kraft coming off his red shirt. He's a better free safety, y'all. He is a free safety. We are so deep at corner. I love it. Lawson. All these guys are just going to get better. These three will get better. I like Scott's size, 6'2", 186. I think Bill Jennings is going to be a star for us uh, next season. Uh, yep. So this is what I'm thinking. Because now that we've got Kraft and Brown – at free safety, and I honestly think I can – I can't redshirt him. Dang. I think Ken Anderson – nope. He's only a free safety. I need to play wide out. I was thinking about moving Ken Anderson, the linebacker. I was thinking about moving Ken Anderson, the linebacker. Um, with his tackling ability, he could play in the box. Pause. <laughs> I just don't, his size doesn't allow him to play linebacker. What's his drop off? He's a 68. He goes down to a 63. He's just not going to get any playing time at free safety. Yeah, I think we're going to move him to outside linebacker. And probably red shirt him. I'm excited for these two. And then free safety or strong safety, Nate Johnson's back for his sophomore year. Kicker will be good. Oh yeah, I forgot we had an athlete. So he they have him listed as a quarterback. But I just I can't put him at quarterback. I don't want another quarterback controversy, man. I'm thinking he can go play wide receiver. Oh, my God. A 75 overall wide out. 6'2", 204. Yes, sir. We're going to put him at wide receiver. 
he's going to be the best wide receiver on campus as of right now before um, training. 90 speed, 89 acceleration. He's got a 91 for a stiff arm, 79 juke, 75 catching, 73 spec, 67 catching traffic, 78 route running, 75 jumping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, he's one of the, again, he's one of those players where I'm on the border about redshirting him because he's not going to get any playing time above Thompson, Brock, Miller, and Vic. You know what I mean? We got three seniors. Three senior wide receivers. And a junior. You think he's a starter day one? I don't know, man. I don't know if he's a starter. Because you got to remember, training too, these guys are only going to get better. Red shirt, that's what I'm thinking, Zach. That is what I'm thinking, bro. Man, we've got a squad forming here, man. Let them play and throw them four Hail Marys a game. <laughs> <laughs> red shirt Keith Miller not nah, like you I, for me I don't red shirt seniors um just because they're getting ready to graduate bro like they're they're I'd rather play Keith Miller and red shirt Carol I need speed at wide receiver that's what I'm saying this one's tough this one is tough Where do I think Ruben Taylor is headed? I don't know. I'll put a poll up, man. I'll pull a poll up in the uh, community, and we'll figure it out. All right, here we go. Training results. Oh, God. And, of course, Ruben Taylor. <laughs> of course. Of course. He gets a plus six. David Jones. David Jones, come on, man. Come on, David Jones. My guy. All right, let's start in the QB room. Ruben Taylor gets a plus six, and he's on his way out the door. He's on his way out the door. He gets a plus six. Uh, Todd is getting better. 83 overall now. 81 awareness. What's that pass? Oh my God! Eighty-seven throw, uh, eighty-seven power, eighty-seven accuracy. Sheesh, man. That's crazy. Ty's gonna be nice, man, but he's got to sit behind Randy this year. He's got to sit behind Randy this year. Randy goes up to a 76. He gets a plus five, 86 speed, 81 throw power, 79 accuracy. So the arm is getting better. Uh, still electrifying with the speed and the acceleration. Um, yeah, bro. I I like the quarterbacks. And Larry Johnson's coming off his red shirt. We have quarterbacks for the next three seasons, fellas. So Randy starts this year. Todd starts next year. And then uh, Larry starts his uh, senior year. Man, shout out to the 76 people in the building. I appreciate you guys being here. Real talk. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, man. Show some love. Running backs. Let's go. Keys got faster, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about I don't know about Idaho. He's from Texas, so we'll have to see. Uh running backs, Justin gets a plus five for his senior year. Uh Corey Gonzalez, after a stud of a freshman year, uh, he's going to get a plus five. 
Jonathan Keys gets a plus six for his junior year. He gets faster. 95, 86, 93. The break tackle's getting better. Corey's got more truck. I love to see the elusiveness. Good stuff for Justin. He gets a plus three. Keys gets a plus five. Ball carry vision doesn't matter. Keys has an 81 stiff arm. An 84 spin move. Juke really isn't there. It is there for Justin. But this is what makes me nervous with Keys, man. This is what scares me with Keys. A 57 carry. And Gonzalez only has a 64 carry, bro. That makes me nervous. Yeah, Mark Smith, I think we'll cut him. I'm going to cut Mark Smith, man. I'm not going to cut Justin Smith. I like having him for my, for the short yardage stuff. Wide receivers. AJ takes a big jump for his uh, senior year. 81 overall now. Best wide receiver on the team. He gets a plus six. 86 speed. 92 awareness. What's the catch looking like? 94 catching. My God. Ryan, what's up, my dude? Yo, AJ is going to be nice. Nice. Spec catch needs some work. I'm not tripping about that. Catching traffic needs work. Route running is a 71. If Gonzalez wasn't an all-conference running back, I would be more worried about that carrying stat. He could be fine. Marcus Brock gets a plus four, 77 overall, 87 speed. Um, what his catch and go up to? 81 catch, 78 spec, 68 catch in traffic, 77 route running. Keith Miller, I need him to have a big year this year. I feel like Keith is due for a big year like he was his freshman year. Right? A.J. went from a walk-on to an 81 overall. Crazy. Uh, Keith Miller, 75 overall. He gets a plus five. Get, he gets faster. 92 speed is nice. Uh, plus three to acceleration. Um, 82 catching. So, I, uh, I think what happens now is you have A.J. and Miller on the outside, and you got Brock in the slot. I think that's what we got to go with. Not that great of a route runner yet, but I think with some time, like this year be his year. This could be this could be a breakout year for Keith Miller. Vic, <sighs> AJ's going to the draft. Facts, man. I can see him and Miller getting drafted this year. Vic, I feel bad because like I wanted Vic to have a great off season, but you know. 91 speed, 69 catching, 49 route running. I, I just – I don't see how he gets on the field, man. Johnson becomes a player coach. That's a good storyline. Joe Barnes, he's not going to get any playing time. We'll probably part ways with Eric Roberson. But there goes our guy. Mr. Go Get It. Mr. Go Get It. DJ. Nah, we're not going to cut Vic. We're not going to cut Vic. He's a leader, man. He's a leader in that locker room. But here, here we go. Mr. Go Get It. David Jones. 84 overall. He gets faster. Uh, the acceleration goes up. The awareness goes up. He's just a st 96 catching, y'all. Come on, bro. He catches everything. 77 spec, 74 catch in traffic, 84 route running. Come on, man. His blocking went up. His release went up. He's an all-around tight end, bro. Yo, Ricky, I appreciate the dono, man. I love the videos. Keep it up. I appreciate that, bro. Appreciate the dollar ninety nine. Uh, Tyler Hill, uh, he goes up to a plus, he gets a plus four, 73 overall. Uh, DJ Ryan gets a plus five. He's a 72 overall. 
And then Randy Gray gets a plus six. He's a 71 overall. We've got some nice tight ends in this room, bro. Nice tight ends. Pause. <laughs> All right, offensive line. Facts, California. Oh, Prince, appreciate the $5, man. Appreciate you, boys. Shout out to Ricky for the subscription, too. I appreciate that. Uh, Kyle Walton, he gets a plus five. He's a 76 overall now. Let's see what this pass, what this block is looking like. Oh, 86 pass block, 77 run block, 76 impact. Oh man, this is gonna make this is gonna make for an interesting spring game, man. Andrew is a seventy one now, and I don't see how he can get on the field. He's a plus, he gets a plus four. Seventy nine pass, seventy seven run, seventy seven impact. That's tough. That's tough. I think you got to go with Walton. We'll have to play it out and see, but I think Walton gets that job. At left guard, Kirby. Goes up plus five to a 74. Trey Simpson goes up plus five to a 73. Kirby might be that guy. The awareness is so much better. And the blocking. Oh, like Simpson's a great pass blocker. Kirby's a better run blocker. But here's the thing. We have an option to redshirt Woods. So if we need to, we could redshirt him and try to move him inside next season. Oh boy, Matt Meyer get, might get redshirted. I might have to redshirt Meyer. He gets a plus six moving to center. Oh my god! Wait a minute. Yo, Ryan, I appreciate the $5, man. Thank you, sir. Uh, shout out to We Learning. Been a hot minute since the YouTube streams, man. You know it's only during the off seasons we get the streams, fam. But I appreciate you coming through, man. Matt Meyer. 85 run block, 74 pass block, 86 impact. And then Eddie Valentine, who is the starter, 81 pass, 80 run, 79 impact. I think we go with Valentine and try to redshirt Meyer, maybe. Rivero goes up, plus seven. He still can't run block, though. Uh, Carrington. I like it. I like it. Yes, sir. 83 is across the board. 86 impact. 86 strength. I like that. Can Rhodes play center, maybe? We might put Rhodes as the backup center. And then maybe. I'll have to look and see. Uh, Probably next season. Probably next season. Uh, Right tackle Vince goes up plus five. 81 pass and run, 77 impact, 85 strength. Good look, man. Woo. This team, man, we have come so far. Uh, shout out to Charlie Parks. Gets a plus five on that defensive line. His awareness is trash. 80 strength, 79 tackle, 84 finesse move. We're going to be bringing some pressure this year, boys. I can feel it. 75 zone coverage. That's right. I think we moved him from linebacker. He played linebacker. He came in as a linebacker, and we moved him down. Nick Burrell for his senior year gets a plus five. Yo, Josiah, I appreciate that, man. Championship or bust season? I just don't see how we get to the BCS, bro. Being in a Sunbelt Conference, I don't see how we get there. I think we can get a major bowl this year. But I don't see going to the national championship. Uh, Calvin Mullins coming off his red shirt. He gets a plus five. 68 overall. That's another guy we probably could have moved inside. 
I like his finesse move. Matthew, I appreciate that, my dude. D tackle. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Bo Reynolds gets a plus five. Uh, Steven Wilson gets a plus five. Riley gets a plus five. Rashad Young gets a plus five. Yes. So what might happen is we redshirt Rashad. Brian got a plus four. And we got a lot of D tackles. We got a lot of D tackles. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were so we finished what twenty second at the end of the season. So we should go into this new season in the top twenty five. Uh, Bo Reynolds is going to be a problem on the inside, bro. Same with Wilson. Uh, Xavier, I'm, we're not going to make him number one. Uh, because we're going to re- we've retired. Cam Newton's jersey in Carolina. Uh, Rashad Young, 242. Yeah, I'm probably going to redshirt Rashad Young um, and put some weight on him. A lot of these guys that you're seeing got kicked in, got kicked inside because of their speed and their strength. So their, uh, like their weight, their awareness, that's why it's down. But we do have a lot of good, a lot of good defensive tackles in this room. Linebacker. There we go. Tyson Kidd gets a plus four. He's a 75 overall. He got faster. The awareness is getting better. Um, the tackle got better. Block shed got better. Pursuit got better. Play wreck. Good look for him, man. Ken Anderson goes up uh, in his new position. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably redshirt him. Uh, get his weight up a little bit, make him like 220, 230. Um, but that's a good look for him. He's going to be faster. That's cool. This guy probably get cut. Rob is a 71 overall. There we go. There we go, Rob. Tackle. He's only got 72 tackle, but he's the leading tackler in the country every year. Uh, the block shed got a lot better. The pursuit got better. Um, he still can't cover, though. So we might pull him off for for passing downs. We have options now, which is a good look. James Ryan might be the best linebacker on the team right now. 78 overall. Great speed, acceleration, agility. The block shed is good. So what I might do, to be honest with you, is move uh, James in as a nickel linebacker and a dime linebacker and then have um, one of those free safeties play the nickel, the other nickel linebacker. We'll have to try it out and see uh, in the spring game. But I like the fact James is getting better. So my plan is once Rob graduates – um, once Rob graduates, we're going to kick James Ryan back inside at middle linebacker. I think that'll be a smart play. Philip Dorsett is going to his 30s. Why don't you get Curtis Samuel back? Curtis Samuel wanted way too much money, man. He wanted way too much money. Uh, do you think Rob could be a pass rusher? Um... Probably not because that finesse and power move are trash. So I think he, he's good at linebacker. I think this. I think Rob is going to get drafted. Is he like a seventh round pick? Yes. Uh, but he has great intangibles. You know what I mean? He's got a nose for the ball. Uh, I think he can... I think he could play in the next level. Yeah, Washington's going to get cut. But James Ryan, I'm excited for him. We're going to kick him inside next season play or 
in season five to play middle linebacker if he doesn't declare. Thank you, corners. Thank you, corners, for being better. I appreciate that so much. Mark Lawson goes up plus five to a 78 overall. Uh, 91 speed, 91 acceleration. The awareness gets better. Thank goodness. Um, what's the covers talking about, though? 91 man coverage, 86 zone. His press is still trash, though. Okay. That's a good look, man. All these guys' coverage went up. Mark Prince is a better zone than he is man. Uh, that's why it's Davis and Lawson starting on the outside. Prince is in the in the slot. Ke Ken Kevin Davis got better. Jamie Brown, we put him at safety last season. Man, I think we have to cut. We're gonna have to cut uh our boy, man. First of all, Travis Gibson's out. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I think Mike Davis is gonna be. Mike is going to be nice for us next year. 86 man, 86 press. I see and I and I and I'm with you on that cat or California kid. I think with our over the top help now, I think we're better. I think we'll be better now. I think he won't get as burnt. <laughs> Uh, free safety craft goes up to an 82 overall. Oh man, this, this is going to, oh, oh my God, yo. Okay. So this just, hear me out, hear me out. We start craft at free safety in the nickel package. We go. James Ryan, and then the freshman at linebacker. Magic Vlogs was good, man. Uh, what what have you missed? Uh, you've missed almost everything. Recruiting. We're in uh, the training results. But I think we have to start craft at free safety, yo. With that 81 or that 91 zone coverage, we have to start them. Yeah, I think so, game. Steve Brown is going to get cut. Nate, good stuff, man. I wanted Nate to go up. Pause. 74 overall gets a plus five. He gets faster, uh, stronger. The awareness is going up. The hands he can catch. Uh, the tackling ability, man, that's that's a great look. Or or we go craft in the freshman at free safety and strong safety, and then Nate Johnson plays in the box. I think that, that might be the better play because his zone is only a seven, 73, and the freshman's is a 79. So I think that might be the better play. On nickel, at least. But Nate Johnson's going. Nate Johnson's a star. Run a cover two with those safeties. Yeah, I, we're going to be in man a lot this year. I think we'll be better at man this year than we were last year. Kicker goes up. Did his leg get stronger? Good, because I hated not having touchbacks on kickoffs. And plus six. Yeah, yo, this team. I, I, we're set up for the next few years, boys. My voice is cracking. <laughs> Larry went up too. He'll be the back. He'll be the third run, the third quarterback. All right, man. Now comes the tough part: cutting some players. <coughs> yeah, I like that idea of starting Nate in the nickel uh, at linebacker. Yo, Rock City, appreciate that, man. The super chat, $5, you're the man. I appreciate that, my dude. Just hopping on, can't wait for season four. I think the, uh, I think what we've been saying is we're going to be nice this year. We're going to be nice. 
How many think that Noel should be on special teams? How many do I got? I got to cut a lot of guys, don't I? Oh, that's not bad. Only nine. I like it. All right, Ruben. We'll see you later, my guy. We'll see you later. Um, running back, Mark Smith. Thank you for your time, sir. He can get up out of here. All right, wide receiver. Roverson. Oh, no, I lose my pipeline for Florida. That's okay. I'll pick it back up next season. I'll pick it back up. Randy, what's good, my guy? Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, tight end room. I, I like our tight ends, man. Freshman gets red shirted. All right. So, do we cut him? Do we cut Riviero? I think we cut Riviero, right? We red shirt Meyer and we let Rhodes play backup center and black and backup right guard. Yeah, I think that's the move. Okay. So Meyer gets the red shirt. Rhodes plays two positions. And then Smith, Keith Smith gets the red shirt. Uh, I'm going to rock with Nick Burrell because he's a senior. He had a great early career, man. Two, four sacks. These guys will probably get redshirted. Well, he'll get Cardo will get redshirted for sure. Fred, what's good, man? Mullins, Dickens. I think odd man out here is Jason Burns. The D tackle room is just stacked now. Um, I forgot we got gross. Nazir gets cut. No red shirt on the center. Uh, no, I, we got to re get. We have to red shirt Matt Meyer. We have to. Um, because both of these guys are juniors and I'd rather start Valentine now and as a senior and have Meyer start his seat, come back and start his senior year than to have them both graduate. And we have a big hole here to fill. Oh, dip. C Mark is the truth. Facts, bro. I told you we had to do it, man. All right, we got one more. We're gonna cut a couple more guys. Um, William Thomas, he gets cut. Lamb will get the red shirt. Washington gets cut. <clears throat> These guys, okay. Travis Gibson will get cut. Jason Davis stays on for his senior year. Bill Jennings, I'm, I, I think he's going to be a stud. Cut Burrell. I'm, I, I don't, I don't want to cut Burrell. I'll tell you why I don't want to cut Burrell. He's a senior. He's a senior. He's one of those guys that was like here from the jump, man. And um, I'd rather him go out with the squad than to cut him. Plus, Eric Carter's going to get redshirted this year. Um, Brian Charles will be, you know, a rotational guy for us. And, you know, Charlie Parks is already our guy. All right, free safety. Um, 
There you go, Zach. Locker room guy. Uh, Steve Brown, that 70 speed, you got to go, my dude. Strong safety. Newella be a special teamer. Okay, we're straight. That's straight. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But we do have a strong senior class, guys. A strong, like, that's a lot of good players that are be leaving next year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve seniors next year. Whew. <laughs> Man, I, like I said at the beginning of the stream, Mercati, I'm like here watching and talking to you guys, and then I'm over here too watching the game. Listen, we're up 28 nothing. I have no concerns right now. Um, if we put up one more touchdown, I expect Coach to put the backups in. And the defense looks good today. From what I – like the couple plays that I've seen out the corner of my eye, the defense looks real good this year or today. I think Ruben is uh, is out to prove a point because this would be his second time transferring, bro. <laughs> You're disappointed. I'm sorry, man. Move to the MAC. Yeah, whoever this camera guy is is trash. Let me come up there and run camera real quick. Um. All right, conference. So we're not switching conferences right now. Um, it's kind of like what I said in the re the the recap. Um, what was that? Ten teams. So what we need one, two. We need two more schools to make it a conference championship, right? Who's in the independence? Army and Notre Dame. Um. Oh, no, we just need – yeah, we need two more. Yeah, I, I, I just don't see us changing right now. Sun Belt, Fun Belt. Independent-wise, we have Army, BYU, and Notre Dame. I mean, Army could move in. I don't know if I like that too much. But that's not realistic, though. BYU is a West Coast team. Trey Sermon. Justin Fields with the downfield block. Let's go. Uh. UTSA is not a bad idea. What conference did they play in? And, like, moving to the MAC wouldn't make any sense either, though. Like, if you really think about it, moving to the MAC makes absolutely no sense. Because most of these teams are in Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, and then you got a random squad, Buffalo. I like the idea of moving UTSA to Sunbelt. I don't mind that. And then did we bring in Army? BYU is two states away from Arkansas. That is that, what map are you looking at? I need to pull this up now. I don't I don't believe you. I don't want to go to eBay. I just want a map. Just 
sir, your math needs work. Okay. Arkansas, over here in the middle bottom, right? You've got Oklahoma, New Mexico, Denver, or Colorado, then Utah. <laughs> sir, sir, what are we doing? Uh, I I like the idea of UTSA being here. I don't hate it. That actually makes it a little bit more interesting. But I, I'm kind of with uh, the rapper. I, I think Army has to stay independent. UTEP? But see, now if we take another team from Conference USA, they don't have their championship. I know he's trying to clean it up. It's two states away from California. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. Yeah, if we take away UTEP, that takes away their conference championship. Because honestly, what happened was um, Western Kentucky, Middleton, and I think... Yeah, Western Kentucky and Middle Ten were all in the uh, Sun Belt at one point, and they left. Okay, let's let's go through. And the problem is everybody has their twelve. You know what I mean? Like they're ten or twelve. Can't take anybody from Big Ten. Yeah. Or <laughs> or we could take Vandy and put him in the in the Sun Belt. Look at all these ranked squads. Zach, appreciate the dono, man. Yo, it was three. My bad. Idaho is still more west, though. <laughs> what if you take? What if you took UTEP and gave? That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Now, if we took UTEP, right? Hold on. If we take UTEP. And then put Army in the Conference USA. That might work. What do you guys think about that? Did they just score? Oh, come on. I'm not going to put Notre Dame in the SEC. That's not fair. I think UTEP to the Sun Belt, Army to Conference USA might be the play. Oh, we played that so bad. They played that so bad. Okay, let's do that. Boom, Army. All right, and they can, I think that'll work for them. Um, if I move Notre Dame to the AC, no, I'm not going to move them yet. I'm going to keep them independent. 
All right, let's look at Sunbelt now because we got to set up some rules. <sighs> um, let's go. Like this. Um, that. And that. Right? Because that'll be the West. We'll be the East. Troy is only the odd team out. Our rival will always be A State and Arkansas. Conference rules. Um, night games in November, fine. We'll start conference games in like week five. Best conference road, best conference record host. I'm down for it. So this was West. And East. I can't, I can't mess with the protector rivalries. I'll oh, protect rivalries. There we go. I don't understand how you do this. Oh, select a crossover team for UTSA. Um, So it has to be a crossover. I got you. So who who would be our crossover then? Keep Army as an independent. No, nah, I I I like the idea of moving Army to the MAC or whatever we just move them to Conference USA because that keeps Conference USA with their championship. Um. Oh, our our cross rival would be Idaho. For sure. Yep. Idaho. Yep. And BCS bowls, we keep those the same. All right, guys. I think we set, man. I think we are set, boys. So we will have a conference championship this year. This should be fun. We bring in UTEP and UTSA. And we will be playing A-State. I like it. Look forward to the season, Charles. See you Tuesday for spring game. Nate, then I appreciate you, my guy. Watch out. Ah, Justin. Randomize the bowls. Is that something you guys want me to do? You think we should delete? All affiliations. You guys let me know. I'm down for it. I, I did it with my other ones. But uh, let me know. Should we keep the bowls how they are? Or should they just be deleted and they're up for grabs? Dang, did we just fumble, bro? Helmet on ball. Harley says no. Zach says no. Wayne says no. All right, man. We'll say with no. We'll say with the way it is. K 
Keep bold structure. Cool. I'm down for that. Majority of you guys are saying keep bold structure. And we just got it right back. Let's go, Sean Wade. All right, man. Preseason time. And the fun begins, fellas. So check it out. Uh, I said at the end of last season that uh, I would make custom recruits. And you guys went crazy about it. You guys thought that was a great idea. You've been asking for it since season one. Well, this season is the season. Okay. Uh, this is how it's going to work. Uh, in the description, there's a Patreon link. Uh, I have two Patreons right now, and they get first dibs. Uh, then I have a join channel button, uh, and I think I have three guys there, and they get second dibs. And then after that, it's a free-for-all. Discord gets it first. Uh, I will be putting up a tab in the community um, today. As soon as the stream is done, um, in the Discord, I'll be putting up a new a new um, channel that's going to allow you guys to post your created players over there. I cannot guarantee that your created player will be made, and I cannot guarantee that your created player will be recruited by Arkansas A and M. Um, so, yeah, and then today I'll put up a community tab as well. I'll do that as well. Uh, M4 Baby was good, man. Um, but if you guys want to create a player, I'll put it up in the community tab. Do not flood. Do not flood right now. Do not try to flood right now. Because <laughs> I already see we got two people that just joined. Shout out to uh, Nip Flip Gaming and uh, Spragget. Spragget. Uh, appreciate you guys for joining the Discord. Discord link is down in the description. The Discord link is down in the description. Um, but I think you only get, what, 20 created players? So if your player does not get chosen, don't get upset. Don't unsubscribe, all that stuff. Silly stuff, man. Uh, there will be a chance that the next season uh, you guys can be in the game. I'm still up in the air about um, putting, like, the YTs and, the pay and all that stuff next to your names. Um I might do it that way we can keep track of where everybody's at. But, yeah, I think it'll be fun. It'll be a different layer to add to uh, the series. Um, and I love that you guys are so excited. Uh, it's 21 or 25. Even better, man. So uh, I'll get all that stuff up today. Like, as soon as we're done streaming, I'll post it. Somebody asked to see the depth chart. Uh, here's what we're going with. We're going with Randy as starting QB. Todd will be the backup. Larry will be our third string quarterback. And then we've got Gonzalez starting. Keys will probably be second. And then Justin Smith will be our short yardage guy. Wide receiver. Things just got interesting, man. Go Keith Miller. Yeah, I like this group. AJ. Uh, we'll go AJ, Miller, and Brock as our three top wideouts. We'll put David Jones as wide receiver number four. He'll be starting tight end. Ty Hill's behind him. Um, where's our guy? Walden gets the star for now. Kirby. Trey Simpson. You want to see the red shirts? Uh, I think I got to wait to do the red shirts because I got to film the spring game stuff. Okay, so Valentine is going to be the starter. And see, they already got Rhodes up here. They are, See, they already know. Carrington. And then at right tackle, we'll put uh, 
Woods as the backup. There we go. Defensive line. Part starts at the left side. Um, what do we say? We said Carter's getting red shirted. Charles, yeah, right. That's right. And then Burrell. Like I haven't posted, I haven't posted the uh, the new channel yet. Give it a few minutes. Wait till after the stream. I told you, don't flood nothing yet. Uh, Kyle Butler starting at right end. Uh, Mullins will be his backup. This D tackle group, bro. I, I'm excited. I'm hyped for this D tackle group. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna bump up Corey Marks' awareness. I'm gonna bump it up because 28 awareness. That's not. It's not realistic. I'll probably bump it up to like a 50 or 55. But I like what we have here. Rashad Young is going to get red shirted. Uh, um, I think Gross has to start there, right? Uh, I say Sean Brown is going to be a good middle linebacker, huh? Oh yeah, that's the guy. That's the freshman. He would. You don't, th Zach. You don't think I should bump up his awareness? Uh, the reaction channel is um. It's in Discord. If you go to contact info on Discord, the link should be there. Oh, no. Lamb is getting redshirted. Uh, booth. Yeah. Brock, what's good, man? Kyle Wilson. Corners. I like where we're at. Lawson, Davis, Prince. I don't I don't think it's gonna like affect his overall too much. I just I it's not fair to him as a player to have a twenty eight awareness. Um Davis. Right. Yeah. So Kraft gets the start at free safety. Brown will be a like a, a sub linebacker and over the top. Yep. They already got it set up. Already got it set up for us. Clark kickoffs, more punts. Yo, Brock, I appreciate that, man. That means a lot, bro. AJ's too slow to return kicks. Um, who is our fastest player? Jonathan Keys. He's got to go there. He's an All-American returner. Um, oh, Tariq Larson is going to be nice next year. Why would you change any player? Sounds like fraud. Okay. I mean, I don't have to change him. I, I'm looking towards four years down the road when he graduates and he doesn't get drafted because he has 38 awareness. But if you guys don't want it, cool. I won't do it. That's why we're, that's why we're fam. We talk things out. All right, man. That's the depth chart. Red shirts. I think I said I got to wait for red shirts. You've been watching every video since the first episode. I appreciate that, my guy. Glad you're enjoying the content, bro. Um, Let's just take a peek at custom schedules. And 
FCS school? No, sir. Arkansas. And they got to come to us this year. Yep. Here's the thing, game it. I would do it, but I don't want nobody coming back saying it was fraud. Like Sweet Lisa said, it'd be fraud if I did that. Zach says it too. So, I, I mean, we'll take a look, but I don't know. I appreciate that, Brock. Shout out to Grady Talk Sports for the subscription, man. Oh, Michigan is on the board. Notre Dame is the number one team in the country. How are we not ranked? Come on, man. Clemson, Oregon, Penn State. A lot of good ranked teams here. TCU, Washington, Wisconsin. Something like that. This is going to be our toughest schedule yet, bro. Maryland, North Carolina, Notre Dame, Oklahoma, Oregon, South Carolina, TCU, Texas. Our first three games versus the top ten. Louisville's not ranked, man. Play Army. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like this schedule. I kind of like this. I mean, Arkansas is guaranteed. That's our rival. We have to play them every year. I'm not like. Oh, heck, we got Bama on this. Okay, Let, let's. Let's reel, let's reel this in real quick. Let's reel this in. I didn't see the Bama thing. Let's reel this in. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see Bama sitting there. So th this changes some stuff. This is going to change some stuff. Um, I think Texas has to come off the board. Um. And we can go for like a top 25, like a 25, like a South Carolina. There you go. We can play like a South Carolina, and they got to come to us. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six and five, that's cool. We play on all Heisman, bro, with difficult sliders. Do I – nope, I can't change anything. Oh, I can't. That's a – what you call it? So, I think this is better. <laughs> I don't want to play Army, man. I don't want to play Army. Uh, there's no reason to play Army right now. Sam, this is just the off-season stream, bro. It's just the off-season. If you leave Texas, you have a shot at the playoff. Um, but I think if even if we leave South Carolina, we'll have a shot. Oh, the console. I play on PS3. If we leave South Carolina, listen, our first f five games, four of them are against highly ranked opponents. That's why I'm like, I think these three games were straight and then the Bama game. Everybody wants to see us play Bama. So, uh, we'll ke I'll keep that for right now. I'll keep that for right now. Somebody said they want to see my sliders. Uh, Dynasty rules. Let's 
So here we go. We bumped up the minutes, seven minute quarters. Honestly, I'm going to go eight now. We're at the point now where we can do eight minute quarters. It was six minutes before. Uh, here are the game rules. And here's your AI. And CPU. I mean, so as you guys can see, these aren't easy. These aren't easy sliders to play on. The reason why their running backs go crazy, look at that. Their running ability and run blocking is on 50. And then you look at our stuff. Our rush defense is on 45. Tackle is on 50. So, you know, that's why they. That's why you see all these running backs going ham on us every game. Which QB accuracy? Oh, for them? Yeah, if you put Q... Here's the thing, bro. If you put QB accuracy anything over 20 for the uh, for the CPU, forget it. Forget it. Like, he's going to complete every pass. You're going to get dotted up. I mean, look right now. They're dotting us up. These quarterbacks are going 24-25 against us. So... 10 is great, is a great, like, mem for them. Um, a shout out to my boy, Uncle Sam's Rejects. He's the one who gave me all those uh, sliders, by the way. Uh, who's our best player right now? David Jones is our best player. Uh, I hate how people do those sliders for the CPU. Here's the thing, man. You got to have tough sliders, especially in a game that's this old. I've been playing this game since it came out. So I know all the tricks, all the trades to make it, you know, to beat the computer. So you got to have something tougher to challenge yourself when it comes to this game. That's why I said, like, somebody asked if we were going to recruit five stars. No, nah, we don't. That's the easy way out. You recruit five stars and keep recruiting five stars. You're going to have a team that's just dominant and is going to uh, – that's just going to run away with every conference, win every national championship. And that's not fun. When you're building a team, that's not fun. But, yeah, here's our here's our overalls, man, our best players, 84 – Ties in 83, the freshman. He, again, all this stuff is going to change. Yeah, these are all random names. No custom recruits yet. That's coming in this, uh, in this next recruiting class. Yeah, I mean, for... For the first two seasons, we recruited nothing but two stars and three stars. And then this past season is when we got our first, like, two four-star prospects. So, um, you know, this this team is taking a great shape, man. Um, it's looking like we can make another run in the Sun Belt. Can we, would y'all tackle this boy, please? Jeez. Uh, we could make another run in the Sun Belt. It's going to be tougher this year because now we have a conference championship. Uh, this is Randy's senior year. I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. <laughs> um, but I think this year we can really uh, set the tone for what we're trying to build moving forward. The freshmen, uh, maybe for the series you should make viewer names. That's what we were just talking about, Brock. I'm getting into that. Uh, I think the freshmen that we got, they should come in and make an impact. Uh, off screen, you'll see. I'll off camera. I'll do all the auto subs and all that good stuff. 
Um, the schedule we picked, I like it. It does need some tweaks, but I'll figure that out. Um, and then if you guys hop in Discord, uh, probably in the next hour, I'll put in the new channel. I'll put it up on our community tab. Drop your um, creative players in there. I need real names. I don't need any, like, fake, corny names where it's like, you know, Jason Heavy Balls. I don't want none of that. Um, and don't look to be a 99 overall because uh, that's not going to happen. But drop your the names that you want, your height, your weight, your position, uh, the style of player that you want to be like. You want to be a possession receiver. You want to be a man covered linebacker or man coverage cornerback, a hard hitting safety. Uh, drop those two. Um, and if you want swag, you can put that in there as well. But I'll put all that stuff up here in the next hour. We have been on stream for two hours. We've had a lot of fun. Now the work begins. The link in the Discord, the link for the Discord is in the description. Don't listen to one guy. I don't know what that means. Um but yeah, dude, this I think this this season we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna have some fun, man. I appreciate you guys being a part of it. Uh, and we will talk on Tuesday for the spring game, fellas. The spring game. It's going to be fun, man. If you haven't just smashed that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell, join the Noti Squad, and make sure you guys hit all those links, man. Facebook, Twitter, and IG. I am so active on Twitter, bro. Come through. I'll give you updates on Twitter, updates on Disc and Discord always, and uh, I'm going to holler at you guys Tuesday for a and Monday for Panthers, all right? Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.